Hi everybody, thanks for joining me for this video. If you love dupes, if you love figuring out, you know, what's a lower cost alternative to my favorite high-end products, you're going to enjoy this video. This is um, drugstore dupes for high-end highlights. If you love this kind of video, I also have one for blushes. I have um, MAC eyeshadows and some different ones. So um, just check the extra info box below if you want links to those other kind of related videos. But um, highlights come in all forms. Um, you can use them as powders, creams, liquids. I really thought that this would be a little bit easier than doing blush dupes just because there wouldn't be maybe as wide of a range of shades and I was right. But when you really start looking closely you realize, oh my gosh, um, so one thing shimmers, you know, in a slightly iridescent way. This one has more pink, this one has more gold, and I mean there are still some in my collection that I'm dying to, you know, find the dupe for, but I just didn't feel like it was good enough to um, put in this video and recommend to you. So I'll keep looking on some of those, but um, I'm really confident in the ones that I found. I like using highlights for a couple of reasons. First off, they can give more contrast uh, on your face. So if you're contouring and then you're also highlighting, you know, getting this little bit of glow, say on your cheekbone or down the bridge of your nose, your cupid's bow area, your brow bone, um, when you highlight those different areas, it really kind of gives your face even more dimension. Also, it just makes you glow. You know, it gives your face a look of health, a look of of, you know, maybe a little more vibrancy than it had before. With a lot of cream highlights or liquids, I may just apply those with my fingers. Um, for powders, a fan brush can be a nice, really, really light way to get, you know, just the minimal amount application-wise. I also like this small, like, kind of egg-shaped brush from Sigma. I find it works really well in some very targeted areas around the face. So I'm going to start out by telling you about a dupe for Benefits High Beam. Um, this product, obviously, it comes in a larger size normally, but I of the small size and I did blog about this um, but I only had one dupe. Now I found two more dupes for this as well. This is kind of a cream highlight product. You can put it you know basically in any of those highlighting spots on your face that I mentioned and it has the slightest um, bit of a pinky hue to it, but it's not overboard on shimmer. It's a really, really pretty look. Lots of dupes for that. Um, the one that I really can't take credit for because someone recommended this to me. This is Boots Number no. 7 Highlights Illuminating Lotion. And the cost and size comparison for, you know, compare this to full size high beam, it's crazy. It's like um, you're getting double the product at half the price, basically. So I blogged about that, showed some swatches. I mean, this is just a, a really, really great dupe. But as I looked in my collection, I thought, oh, there's more. Um, Elf Radiance Enhancer in Spotlight. This is like if you prefer this kind of format where it's kind of clicking through um, sort of the, the tip of that brush there. It's so, so similar. Um, it's still got that, you know, not overboard on shimmer. You're not seeing glitter. And another thing from Elf that I just discovered shortly before doing this video is I was just kind of double checking everything um, is this Elf Body Shimmer in Mystic Moon. Moonlight. So this is something you could use all over. You're getting a lot of product. You can also use it on your face. It almost looks like a mini deodorant stick, but um, this definitely, again, has that same look as Benefit High Beam. But if you like more of a solid form as opposed to a liquid form like the rest are, um, this is going to be another option for you. Another Benefit product here, um, they have one of their little boxed blush bronzer things called Tin, and this one actually is like half bronzer, half highlight. And if you look closely at that highlight, it has that little bit of pink to it, kind of like I mentioned with uh, high beam. And so I've always kind of thought of this as like high beam and powder form. I feel like the dupe for that is from Physician's Formula, and it's the Happy Booster in Translucent. When you swirl your brush in all these shades, you'll notice you got a little bit of pink going on there. And that's just enough pink to disperse throughout, you know, your brush stroke through the product to give you the same look that you get here. And it's not going to be obvious pink. This is nowhere near a blush, um, don't get me wrong, but it's just going to have that slight hint that makes it um, a lot like uh, Benefit 10 on the highlight side. So I just wanted to pass that along. If you're kind of liking high beam, you're wanting a powder alternative, think about something like that. I also have Sunbeam. I actually have Sunbeam in the full size here. And this is an interesting thing because think of it as a highlight, but with like that goldeny bronzy glow. It's again, much like, you know, um, high beam, it's in that liquid format. You're going to take out a wand and it's going to be really kind of a liquidy, creamy sort of 
texture there. So I wanted to find a dupe for this. I knew I didn't have anything of that exact kind of liquid cream texture. So I started thinking, you know, well, how can we compare it once it's all swatched out? Just the appearance of the color and the way it works on the skin. And um, I found there's a product from Hard Candy called Glow Away, and it's a bronzer and highlight duo in one. And the bronzer side actually comes off looking just like um, Benefit's Sunbeam. It's crazy. It's like that just perfect golden, I mean, I'm like they're calling this a bronzer. This is definitely a highlight. I got Sunbeam on this side and I've got this one on this other side and it's just the same. It's the same finish, it's the same look. I wanna talk about one of my all time favorite highlights. Just a highlight that I've fallen in love with. I have the full size, I also have this small size. This is from Lorac. It's their perfectly lit powder and the shade is called Spotlight. What I love so much about this is that it is the, one of the most subtle highlights you're gonna find. It's, it's almost has a little bit of dare I say coverage to it because when you put it on it almost perfects and it highlights and it's a powder consistency but it's not too flaky and it's got just the slightest bit of beige. I remember there. maybe it was months ago having a little Twitter conversation with the Katie AB about this and you should check out her channel for lots of great reviews um, but we're talking about this one Reserve Your Cabana from Wet n Wild. It's a color icon bronzer but again when you look on the light end of bronzer typically they're more like a highlight. This is definitely a highlight. And the shade is called Reserve Your Cabana. This is huge. This also has an SPF in it, I believe. SPF 15. And it's just the same kind of thing going on there as Lorac Spotlight in that it's light, it's got a little bit of beige tone to it, so it's not going to look drastically different from skin, and it has, you know, just the most subtle amount of, of shimmer. It's almost hard to detect. So I knew, you know, that is so right on. My next two pairs of products are going to be kind of like the, the same level of shimmer. One's going to be a little bit lighter, and the other's going to be just a little bit darker. So for the lighter of the two, I'm going to talk about a much loved product from the Balm and it's called Mary Luminizer. I talked about this in my Balm video. It's just the cutest packaging ever. She's getting her mug shot taken there. Um, but the shade is just kind of like classic pearly highlight and it is pretty darn shimmery. I mean, I feel like it's almost borderline getting a little bit of a metallic look to it. Um, and I really struggled finding a dupe for this because, and it was strange because I thought this was the most typical, you know, it wasn't like I had to find one that was a little bit bronze or a little bit pink, you know, it was just kind of like classic light colored highlight. But finally I did, and here comes Hard Candy again, coming in with a dupe, um, but it's the soap baked bronzer in Tiki really light shade and this just has that beautiful glow and keep in mind that with these dupes the reason why I was having trouble these don't look that similar when you look at them side by side but when you swatch them sometimes just the amount of pigmentation one has as compared to the other the swatches will look similar and they'll look similar on your face so you've got to try them even if you maybe don't initially think that's the dupe now something that's a little bit darker than Mary Luminizer it's still a highlight it's still going to be you know a light pretty glow but it's just see how the tone is different I wouldn't even call it bronze, but it's just like a little different tone, but still um, ultra shimmery. And this is from MAC. This is the Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. And it's very pretty, but as you can see, it's highly shimmery. It's a very, very um, shiny highlight. So when I was looking for something similar, I thought it's got to be it's got to be real shimmery, but it's almost got to have a little bit of depth to it. So what I discovered as a dupe for that was um, the Shimmer Strips from Physician's Formula in Vegas Strip. And it's not just any one part of this, but you gotta run your brush through all of it, just like the other Physician's Formula one I was talking about. But when you do, it's a very similar look to this. These are very, very shimmery. They're cool if you get one of these, because you can like use them as eyeshadows, like one strip at a time. But um, when used all together, it's a similar look to Max Soft and Gentle. I wanted to come up with even more. I really wanted to get to 10, but a lot of them were just too much of a stretch and it just was not working. So if I come up with more, I'll let you know. Um, keep an eye on my blog. That's where those might turn up. But um, thank you so much for watching, being interested in my dupe videos because um, they're fun. It's a challenge for me. So I really enjoy it. And I'll be doing probably some bronzers soon. Uh, shimmery and matte bronzers. Got a lot of those to um, work on. So thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.